Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And a couple of weeks ago I messed about with this tiny machine over here. It's the Lenovo Think Center M75Q Generation 5. Uh, the one on the, on top. Oh fingers. The bottom one is a generation 2. I purchased the generation 2 four years ago ish and uh, now the generation 5 is out and I wanted it and I found out that my workplace gets them for next to nothing good discount and, and stuff most definitely a lot closer to production price than if I go and shop one online so I persuaded my uh, lovely boss that I could purchase one for home use that way I got a new PC at home and um, it didn't cost me anything but then it turned out that the PC was totally locked down for work use and I couldn't get past the BIOS password because they have done so that uh, it's not enough to clear the CMOS anymore you have to have a, a supervisor password to clear the supervisor password uh, you can go and solder out the chip reprogram it and solder it back in that seemed a bit much work so um, I took the PC back to work and I got one of my colleagues in the department that installs images and stuff on it to put a totally clean Windows 11 image on it. So now it's working and there is no company lockdown thinky on it. You're really, you're really, you're really handicapped when they do that. So uh, today uh, I have it up and running and it looks very much like the other one because uh, when you uh, when you have a Microsoft account, they kind of synchronizes and move some stuff over, but it doesn't move everything over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the new one off and turn the old one back on. And then I need to copy a few files. And I also, I got a good question in the last video. How much power does this use? And blah, I don't know. So uh, I have a power meter set up, so we're going to measure the power on it. Plus, I think I'm gonna run a speed test on the old system uh, and then we're gonna compare that with the new system. So it's a simple video, but right now I'm turning it off and turning the old one back on. Okay, first issue I ran into, besides it's being very dirty in this corner, I don't know how cables, but they, it must be the, the electric uh, magnetic thing that collects the, the socks in the dust, right? So I found that this uh, power meter here, it uh, it uses the new uh, connectors. We are migrating over to another kind of connector, which is very widely used in Germany. I know because I, because I battled that in a hotel in Germany for tw uh, twenty years ago when I arrived with my laptop late at night and couldn't plug it in, and that was because the laptop had one of these. So this is the uh, the old connector that we used to use here and this power supply for the computer has that old connector and that's not gonna fit in this one it's not gonna go in there uh, because it's totally round and this one is cut off so um, I found that I had another connector and these are these uh, uh, Mickey Mouse connectors uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, so first thing, I'm gonna change that out. Connector has been uh, changed out, so now it should fit down here. <laughs> like it, love. So right now I'm backing up my stuff. I'm almost done, but I have the power meter sitting down here and doing like a little bit of normal work. Uh, the watches is right there and it's like 25, 27 watts and then it jumped to a lot more. Ah, I was gonna tell you that it was stable and then it, it's not stable then. <laughs> That's annoying. Eh, now it went a little bit down again, 27 watts. But it's in that range. Uh, I think I saw 43 or something. That's the highest that I've seen. That was a 37 right there and a 41. And now it's done copying. So now it's down to like less 10, 11 watts. 
and that is the old machine the new machine is sitting right there waiting for its turn so I'm gonna run the speed test on it so I'm gonna be running pass mark here and I'm not gonna bother it, it complained about some driver that it didn't want to run so you know probably uh, something it's probably something with the screen driver that isn't gonna be run so now we are running the CPU benchmark and it's uh, it is using a lot of power there over 50 watts I saw so yeah it can use a bit of power oh there we are uh, we are almost 60 watts when it's I'm also expecting oh, 57 watts almost 59 watts that was 59 60 61 okay okay results of the speed test is in and it scores 4701 and you can see all the numbers on the right there uh, CPU 16353 and the other ones this uh, pass mark is a little bit older than uh, the other one so it's gonna place us uh, nicely in the green here uh, on the overall system performance then the CPU is also nicely in the green uh, 2D graphics is in the orange here 3D graphics is further down in the orange and then we have memory is green so overall it's it hasn't done too badly we also have the disk performance and the disk performance is really good <laughs> so yeah um i'm gonna shut this down and we're gonna see if we can compare the numbers with uh, with the new one i did look at it while it was running and i thought that uh, when it was doing 3d graphic it might be uh, using more power but it actually did not it used uh, just um, just below 40 watts when it was doing the the 3d graphics stuff i thought that would be a, a power thief but it was mostly the cpu benchmark that uh, that used high power okay we have changed to the new pc and it's just uh, sitting at the lock-in screen and oh i was gonna show you that it wasn't using much power at all right before i well it was 9 11 watts that we are that was what i wanted to show you that it wasn't using much <laughs> oh i forgot to tell you what cpus was in here uh the old system is this one it has the amd ryzen 5 pro 4650 ge it is an okay cpu 35 watts and it scores in here it scores uh, 15,000. 309 so we got better result in our test than uh, than this one claims uh, the new one is uh, well AMD Ryzen 5 Pro 8500 GE so uh, yeah there's a larger number <laughs> more frequency uh, quite a big uh, turbo boost uh, improvement but the same number of cores and also 35 watts and this one scores 21,552. So uh, yeah, that's just what we're looking at. And power usage, just uh, having the PC open and checking the CPU performance in there, you can see the power well, it goes up and down. So it's clearly doing something in the background. So now I'm running the CPU benchmark. Uh, we are using a bit of power down here so it's it's the red number that we're looking at by the way so 45 watts 40 40 and then it's 60 61 watts so it does a test and then it switches to the next test and so in between it's not using a lot and then it prepares for the next test and so on so yeah we are Oh, we saw 63 watts. I need to, <laughs> I probably need one of the bigger power supplies. This is just 65 watts. I don't think it's a limiting factor though, but yeah, it's probably right at the limit there. But 
Yeah. Normally, these small computers are very efficient. Like when you're not using it, it's a few watts in standby. And when you are using it, just doing normal stuff, the computer itself just uses like 10, 15 watts, as you've seen. Then when you stress it a lot, it goes up to those 60 watts. And well, when you're really using it like that, it doesn't matter that it's using a lot of power. It's the, it's because then you're using it. It's the power that it uses when you're not using it. That's the annoying thing. Another thing, um, I hate switching out my uh, computers. It's a lot of work and I've done it so many times. Not as much anymore, but when I was younger, it was what you did every weekend, right? You need a new graphics card. You got a hard drive that was 20 megabytes bigger than the last one. So uh, I've done this so many times. Nowadays, all my stuff is located on my NAS and I just have a few files that, you know, the stuff that is in your download folder and in your temp directory on your desktop and in your documents folder. So that is more or less what I've I copied it up to the NAS and if I need any of it, I'll just get it up there. I'm probably not going to need anything. So yeah, I'm, over the years I have, um, I don't, I don't optimize the PC and make it look exactly like I want. Well, Microsoft has done part of that. They, uh, they find my little skin here every time. So uh, this uh, <laughs> think center, ThinkPad, yeah, it's actually from a laptop. I should change that to ThinkCenter, but never mind. Yeah, we are running the test over here. So I have for sure gotten old and lazy and don't want to mess around with changing everything. So, and it makes it a lot easier. Uh, I just have a few little things that I change and then everything is good to go. And the less I have to change, the less I have to change every time. So, yeah. I'm sure a lot of you have a lot of changes to your Windows setup when you um, power on a new Windows machine, but I don't. I have a few programs that I install like Chrome and Handbrake and File Sealer and stuff like that. that uh, I use a service for that, uh, an internet service where you just click, 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 install. And I like that. So yeah, let's go to the results. Oh, this is an awful comparison. This is Passmark 11.1. And the one that I ran on the other one was uh, 9.0. Um, I think we'll just screen grab this and then I'm gonna see if I can install the other one. Managed to install the older version 9 and the numbers look a lot better compared to the, to the numbers on the old machine. I don't think there's much difference between uh, 2D and 3D graphics from the old to the new machine, but there is some CPU and yeah, the overall thing goes up quite a bit. It's, um, it claims to be a very high percentage there. Um, so we get a good in the green and the CPU is very good in the green. <laughs> uh, 2D is okay in the green it's actually okay very well in the green and uh, the 3d is even on the old one is, is very much in the orange I did get some errors that I think there was some tests that it didn't do very well or jumped over or something and memory is not as good it's not even in the green here. That's weird. <laughs> Hard drive is very much in the in the green. So yeah, it's. I do believe it's better than the old one. So this was mostly a bit of follow up because I thought there were a couple of interesting questions, like, uh, power usage. So when I'm just sitting here doing absolutely nothing on the machine, but it's on and it's showing me whatever I was working on last. It uses just about 10 watts, which is 
very nice. <laughs> I don't know about this password thing that Lenovo has put in that you can't remove without very sophisticated uh, reprogramming of the of the BIOS uh, chip. I um, I think that's gonna bite them in the ass because the the value of this PC on the second market is gonna be considerably smaller if that password is in place because the system board is dead and uh, yeah, I don't like throwing stuff out just because there's a password on it so uh, that would reflect badly on the company I must admit that uh, me having to trash a perfectly good PC because the password is not removable I don't like that I know that it's a thief preventing system but yeah I don't know I'm okay with the thief not getting access to any of my data and not being able to uh, to access whatever I was accessing but to, to but to totally break the PC and not being able to do anything with it after that I don't know if that's a good thing I'm a bit iffy about that, but do leave in the comments below what you think about this uh, password that is non-removable on Lenovo Think systems. Uh, I'm very interested in hearing if um, what you think. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.